What is going on YouTube? Spade MC Gamer here and today I'm back with a tutorial for you guys. Today I'm going to be showing you how to install Pixelmon 3.0, the brand new update guys, it's out about a day or two at this stage. Uh, so the Pixelmon 3.0 update, it's the biggest update so far in the Pixelmon mod. There's 95 new Pokemon. Um, so first of all guys, I want to get started here with the downloads. I'm sorry if I sound a bit funny guys, my voice is kind of on the verge of going at the moment, I don't know what's wrong with it. It always seems to be going just as I want to do something. Uh, but anyway, um, so guys, there'll be one uh, link in the description and that will be to the Pixelmon... Um, forum page right here the uh, blog like the uh, the website so there'll be one link down in the description right under where it says downloads and you'll see the uh, Pixelmon uh, website link right here once you click that link it'll bring you to this page uh, so once you get here scroll down a little guys and you should see um, Mir 1, Mir 2, Mir 3, Mir 4 and Mir 5 here and you should see here is the recommended Forge version and you should see Forge download it should be in blue mine is in kind of grey because I've already downloaded it but all you have to do guys is first of all get the Forge download so just click Forge download right there that will bring you to an add fly link and all you have to do is wait 5 seconds up here in the top right hand corner it says please wait and it counts down and then just pray, press skip add and it should download automatically there guys. So once you press skip add it will download. Once that has finished downloading guys just click on the mirror one. And that will bring you to an ad focus us or whatever this is. It's like exact same thing as ad fly. Up here in the top right hand corner it counts down. And just press skip. This will bring you to a media fire guys which is another download. And just press the big download there in the green. And that should download it no problem guys. So once you have the two files downloaded they should look something like this. And first of all guys before we go installing any mods or any uh, forge here or whatever. First of all you want to go to your roaming file. So go down to your windows icon down here. And in the search bar type percentage mark app data percentage mark. Okay so that's percentage mark A P P D A T A percentage mark. Just click enter there guys. That will bring you to your uh, roaming file, which you should see your .minecraft in, guys. So, if you're currently playing on um, the older version of Pixelmon or whatever, and you're trying to install this Pixelmon, uh, all you have to do is, what I would recommend doing, first of all, is going right-click that, go copy, and then just go paste onto your desktop, okay? So, if you do go wrong with the installation, all you have to do is delete the mo .minecraft you went wrong in, and drag and drop the old one back in there and you'll be back to where you started so if you do go wrong by any chance <coughs> sorry guys my voice is a bit funny uh, but if you do go wrong all you have to do is drag and drop that one in that you copy and paste it but anyway guys I would recommend you do that anyway because then after if you want to go back and say you have the one out here that you copy and paste it and we have uh, we have installed a brand new version uh, of Minecraft which I recommend you do so say you have all your saves your texture packs all that kind of stuff in here and your mod just go right click copy paste out here and then delete this minecraft folder after you've done that okay so just delete it then you want to go to your dot your minecraft launcher uh, sorry and just click run i'm not going to delete it because it takes too long to download but i'm going to show you how to do it uh, so if you do delete it you'd probably need to put it back in your details your username your password that kind of thing and it should bring you right here uh, to uh, your obviously your minecraft launcher and um, what this will probably say is ready to play 1.4 or 1.7.4 and what you need to do is edit the profile and make sure you click uh, release 1.6.4 so that's all you have to do and then just click play and download it'll download a 1.6.4 because that is all Pixelmon works in at the moment guys and uh, once you've downloaded the brand new 1.6.4 you want to go to your forge uh, installer that you downloaded all you have to do is double click this guys and just click OK, install client and it should install perfectly there guys. So once that is installed, you want to go back into your Minecraft launcher, run the launcher. Okay, and um, oh sorry, actually I need to install it myself, sorry. <clears throat> I just remembered there. Okay, so I'm going to install it now guys anyway. As you can see it's downloading right here. And uh, we'll just give this a second now, it's unpacking the stuff. Uh, my internet's a bit slow at the moment. But this should just take a second to download guys and if you don't know where you're where to find these downloads after you have downloaded them just go to your windows icon go to whatever your computer is called mine is called steven that's just my name and you should see right here in your download section they should be right there so just what i usually do is drag and drop them onto my desktop to use them easier so as you can see right here guys successfully installed client uh, profile forge 9.11.1.953 whatever so just press OK. So now Forge is successfully installed. We just need to run our Minecraft again. So just go in, run your Minecraft, 
like this but make sure you do one little step right here guys before you press uh, run you have to um, go right here go profile and click the forge profile so once you click the forge profile it'll load or download all the forge stuff that needs to be downloaded it'll basically run uh, minecraft forge for your whole minecraft and then once it goes into Mojang here and Minecraft, we'll be able to see, as you can see down here in the bottom left hand corner, it says Minecraft 1.6.4, FML, Forge Mod Loader, Minecraft Forge, 3 mods loaded, 3 mods active. So as you can see, Minecraft Forge is working perfectly. So guys, go back into your uh, roaming, uh, do percentage mark, app data, percentage mark. And I have actually got a, um, a shortcut here on my desktop, which is really handy if you use a lot of mods and that kind of thing to create a shortcut on your desktop but just go back into your roaming file guys and right here you should see your dot minecraft after running minecraft there should be lots of folders and stuff in here from your uh, minecraft forge that downloaded so you want to find the mods folder so mods mods and all you have to do is drag the pixelmon 3.0.1 into there and that's it guys it's installed it's that easy and um, so now uh, minecraft is installed and if you had any saves guys any um, single player saves or whatever remember when I said copy and paste it out into your desktop all you have to do is drag and drop the old the saves from the old dot minecraft into the new one here and same thing with resource packs texture packs anything like that drag and drop them in uh, drag and drop them in and they should be sound guys there should be no problem so now once we go into minecraft we should have pixelmon working no problem just let it load here and that's it press play We'll just check that our uh, our Pixelmon is is working properly. There we go. Let's just create a new world here really quickly, and we should have a should have a quick look to make sure we can see some of the uh, the new Pokemon in the update. As you can see, guys, brand new uh, starter here, and as you can see, we have Chimchar, we have. Oshawott, we have Tepig, and I don't even, I can't say this guy's name right, Snivy, or whatever his name is, but uh, as you can see, we have the new Pokemon here, Chimchar, and everything, so, the guys, the mod is working perfectly, and uh, that's it, guys, so I really do hope this helped you guys to install the mod, if it did, make sure you hit that like button, and guys, subscribe for more tutorials, and that kind of thing, um, I'll have lots more tutorials out on this new update, coming out soon enough, and um, so guys, thank you for watching, as usual, make sure you hit that like button, and subscribe if you're not subscribed guys, so thank you, and I will see you in the next video.